Even if you're going to be working outdoors, getting a couple of errands done, or just enjoying this Sunday fun day, we're going to be dealing with a few changes compared to what we've had to deal with over the last several days. It won't be as breezy, so you got that in our corner, but we are going to see just a little bit more cloud cover working into our forecast. Maybe you're heading out to the beach. You can actually see a lot of those low clouds off on the horizon, a lot of moisture that we're working with. Right now from our Wyndham Grand Clearwater Beach weather camera, we're dealing with temperatures in the 70s. We're at 73 degrees. You can even just feel that humidity the moment you step outside but yeah it's not quite as breezy those winds will be staying under 10 miles per hour what is starting to happen those winds are shifting out of the northwest this afternoon and as we go through the next several hours we'll notice a little bit more of that wind shift taking over especially for our boaters we'll talk about that in a few moments let's head on over to the weather wall and talk about what we'll be dealing with as far as our changes because we are working with some moisture associated with a very weak front that is positioned right over the I-4 corridor. Believe it or not, there is a front in the mix there over central Florida. Over the past couple of hours, I've actually tried to bring a few spotty showers, but a lot of those have just been struggling to reach the ground. That's why we do have quite a bit of extra low cloud coverage out and about. Some spots seeing a little bit more sunshine than others, but here is that weak front. It is transitioning. It is stalling out. Once it turns stationary and actually sinks a little further of I-4, uh, I it will entirely wash out. That is why this is not bringing us a great deal of changes. If anything, it's just helping to bring a little extra cloud cover through parts of central Florida today. Another live view over Sarasota right now, 76 degrees in Sarasota. Check this out. For this time in March, we should be seeing daytime highs make their way to 76 degrees, and we should be stopping there for this time of year. Instead, that is how we're kicking things off on this Sunday morning. So that just gives you an indication of how above normal and how mild this trend is, especially as you get ready to head out and about several lower to mid 70s right now. And as mentioned, those winds are on the mostly calm side when they do pick up some speed. They're under 10 miles per hour. Notice the northern half of the region versus the southern half. Those wind arrows are moving totally different directions. There is that wind from the south southwest ahead of that front. Behind it is where we're seeing a little bit of that wind shift. High up in the atmosphere, it's trying to keep some of that drier air overhead, but right along the surface, we are still staying on the humid side. So for our boaters, we'll keep winds about 5 to 10 knots, again, shifting more out of the west-northwest through today. Seas will be right around 2 to 3 feet. That's going to keep it a light chop out on the bay. So don't be surprised to see a mix of sun and clouds. I think you're still going to need the sunglasses. I still think you'll need the hat from time to time, maybe even the umbrella. But I will tell you, some of the rain chances that we will see, they're going to be pretty spotty, very hit or miss. They'll will be through up parts of the afternoon, and I actually think that potential will be better the further inland you go, even east of Plant City. Plant City, you still have a 20% chance through today to be dealing with a few spotty showers, so keep that in mind for the Strawberry Festival, but it's to the point where you could just head indoors real quick, and then the sun will come out right after. So we'll see a good mix of that, and because of that mixture of sunshine and cloud cover, and that very subtle wind shift, we will still be able to make it easily into those 80s. So here is the future cast for you. You see any of the moisture we're dealing with right now shifts more to the east, more east of that I-75 corridor, and even towards East Florida. Right along the west here, we actually start to get a good dose of sunshine takeover. And I think a lot of those rain chances will stay concentrated in our inland locations through the mid to late afternoon hours. Tonight, we quiet things down through the overnight. Overnight, we may get a few areas of patchy fog, especially inland, not in the, not really along the coastline. I think it's going to be more so inland, but then plenty of sunshine for your Monday afternoon with a 10% chance inland that we could see a spot shower. However, by Monday night going into Tuesday morning, heads up, we could be increasing the widespread areas of that fog once again as we really keep a lot of moisture along the surface. High pressure takes over high up in the atmosphere, and that really helps also keep temperatures well above normal. I think early next weekend, timing has been changing on us quite a bit, but next weekend, as early as Saturday, we could be dealing with our next cold front. This one actually could be a stronger one that'll take us from the 80s to the 70s for Saturday and Sunday.